Okay, hello everyone. I know that you guys are grounded because of this coronavirus. Uh, so I just prepared a short uh, video to just um, let you to have some materials for your own study. So you see this Nouriel Rubini said about the current account deficit. Please take a few moments and breathe. Okay, you are done with uh, reading. Um, I think many of you remember this uh, table, which we call balance of payments. Uh, it's the balance of payments of the United States for 2008. As you see, there is S. You need to be very careful about this plural form of uh, payment. So you guys uh, see the current account of the United States and capital account of the United States. You guys see that there is a trade uh, surplus. Deficit, I'm sorry, trade deficit. So which means that United States is uh, imported 1.2.1 uh, uh, trillion dollars worth of goods and exported 1.3 trillion dollars uh, of uh, merchandise goods. So this is why you, yes, uh, we're having these amount of uh, you know trade deficit. So then we see that uh, they have a surplus on the uh, service part. So when we add these two up. So we get a, another deficit. So then we have these unilateral transfers and investment income, special unilateral transfers. Remember, we said that uh, it includes these workers' remittances. So then eventually we get to this bottom line, which is about current account deficit. So once a country has a current account deficit, so then it's supposed to have this uh, capital account surplus. Why? Because capital account surplus means that you are going to borrow this money from the rest of the world. So balance of payments, keep the record of transactions uh, among uh, residents of one country and residents of the uh, rest of the world. So as you see on this table, current account deficit is going to be covered by the capital account surplus. So you see in 1940s and 50s, United States were running a trade deficit. And currently, uh, as you see from here, uh, you know, this this part, the United States is not only running current account uh, deficit, but also trade deficit. So the, another issue is that, guys, all the countries in the world cannot run uh, current account surplus at the same time. To some countries run a current account uh, surplus, then some other countries need to, uh, you know, run current account deficit. So which means that especially energy importer countries they are very happy about uh, declining oil prices. Why? Because it let them to narrow down their uh, current account uh, deficit. Uh, yeah, just look at this one. Uh, you see Saudi Arabia, uh, Russia, Iran, they are the main exporters of uh, the crude oil to China. Uh, so which means that all these import and exports are going to be recorded on the balance of the uh, countries that are in question on this, uh, you know, uh, slide. Also, as you see, these are the T-bonds or uh, government uh, debt uh, securities which have been issued by the governments of these countries. So whenever foreigners are going to purchase these uh, securities, it's going to be recorded on the, uh, you know, uh, capital account section of these uh, countries. So it was just a short uh, introduction for you, a visual uh, you know, introduction for you to get the initial recognition about these topics.